Thank you again to First Energy for the STEM grant. It allows to buy these motorized toy car kits from the Society of Automotive Engineering. Uh, the way we worked it was uh, between a five and ten day project. We had classes of up to 25 to 30 students in uh, an emerging technologies course. And what we experimented with was the idea of learning about gear ratios, learning about um, you know electricity, cleaner energies in terms of cars themselves. Cars are such a fundamental part of our life in our everyday life so I want students to understand that that's evolving, it's changing, we're getting into more electric based, hydrogen based, water based cars, uh, gas is slowly easing its way out, fossil fuels are becoming less and less uh, prominent. And this is where we're going. So a lot of what we did with our course then is I had students just experiment in an open-ended manner on manipulating gear ratios, the number of tires. So you could have a four set, six set, eight set, two engines, GoPro to capture uh, you know, speed and uh, torque in terms of power, understanding you know, uh, how much power these things can, uh, and measuring that power, as well as the electric component of it as well, measuring the amount of amperage that's going through this. So a lot of variations um, and different uh, variables. Some of the biggest challenges when building a car is just figuring out the components. You know, you have, there's a lot of trial and error, of course, science, but at the same time, you know what some things do, but not what others do. So you have to try a lot of different configurations before you even find one that works and moves the car half an inch. Then you have to work from there and find one that constantly improves upon your last design. You could see the different speeds in the cars by the, uh battery power compared to the uh, solar power, like battery power goes a lot more faster and has more torque than the solar power does. And what I plan on doing in the future is going into engineering. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet in engineering, but I do know I want to go in the engineering field. You can learn things through PowerPoints, and they're helpful, but actually being able to apply it firsthand is much better. I mean you get to actually see like the fruits of your labor and that's a very important thing. I mean if I just had a PowerPoint you learned it and moved on. I mean you'd know the information but would you really know that it works? Probably not.